Art Kids TV. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? That's so wonderful to hear. Well, as always, we have a super busy class, so let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and get started with our calendar. And today is very exciting because, as you can see, we are in a new month. The month we are now in is the month of August. And yesterday was August 3rd, August 3. So what's today's date? Let's find out. We have to count. What comes after the number three? Let's count. Ready? One, two, three. What comes after? Four. Good job. The number four. So today is August 4. Well done. Now let's find out what's the day of the week. What's today? Let's look at the days of the week. There's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What's today? Let's find out. Today is Wednesday. Good job. Today is Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Good job. So now that we know today's date and the day of the week, let's write it here all together. So today is Wednesday, August 4. One more time. Today is Wednesday, August 4. Well done, friends. Now that we know the date, let's find out what's the number of the day. Ready? Number of the day is number seven. Number seven. Good job. Number seven. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number seven. Can you make the number seven with your fingers? Good job. And how do we spell the number seven? Let's spell it right here. Ready? S E V E N. Seven. S E V E N. Seven. Good job. Number seven. And now let's put the number seven on our tens frame. Let's add seven chips to our tens frame. Ready? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. Seven chips are on the tens frame. Seven. Well done, friends. Now, let's go ahead and practice five sight words for today. Ready? Number one. Like. Like. Can you say like? Good job. Like. L-I-K-E. Like. Number two. I. Letter I. Can you say I? Good job. Number three. Is. Is. I-S. Is. Can you say is? Good job. Is. Number four. C. C. S E E. C. Good job. Can you say C? Good job. C. Number five. It. It. I T. It. Can you say it? Good job. It. Now that we've practiced those five sight words, we are going to build sentences using some of those sight words. And remember, last week we have already reviewed some of the sight words that we're using today. I have my laptop here and I'm making my screen smaller. Let's get started building sentences. Let's match the colors to the colors on the top. Let's begin with red, then orange, then yellow, and finally with the green. In the red, we have I. In the orange, we have like. In the yellow, we have jam. And finally, to end a sentence, we always use a period. So in the green, we have the period. 
Now, let's read it. I like jam. Great job. And on the bottom, let's type it. I like jam, period. Well done. Now let's continue with number two. Let's match the colors. It is hot, period. Let's read it together. It is hot. It is hot. Great job. Now let's type it on the bottom. It is hot, period. Great job. Let's continue. Let's continue with number three. Red, orange, yellow, and green. And now let's read each word in each box. Go to bed, period. Go to bed. Now let's type it. Go to bed, period. Go to bed. And now let's do number four. Let's match the colors. I can win. And this time, to end the sentence, we're actually using an exclamation point. That will be our punctuation. That's how we end it. So let's read it. I can win. An exclamation point tells us that the sentence is very exciting. So when we read it, we have to read it with a lot of excitement. I can win. Just like that. So, I can win, exclamation point. I can win. And now let's type it. I can win, exclamation point. Well done. And now let's move on to number five. This will be the last one, number five. Let's match the colors. I can zip, period. Now if we look at the picture, she is zipping her jacket. I can zip, period. I can zip. Now let's type it. I can zip, period. I can zip. Great job practicing building sentences with me. You did such a wonderful job and thank you so much for trying your best. Now we're going to move on to our read aloud. And for today's read aloud, we have a really fun book. We are reading Harry the Dirty Dog. This is the front cover of the book. And the title of the book is Harry the Dirty Dog. And the author of the book is Jean Zion. And the pictures in the book were made by Margaret Bloyd Graham. She illustrated the pictures. So let's see what Harry the Dirty Dog gets into. Let's begin reading. Harry the Dirty Dog by Jean Zion. Pictures by Margaret Bloyd Graham. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. He wants to bury the brush because he doesn't want to get a bath and that's why he's running away. Where is he going? He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. Look at him, he's getting so dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. Oh no, he's getting so dirty. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Oh, look at him. 
He's no longer a white dog. He is a black dog now with white spots because he's so dirty. Although there were many things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too. So without stopping on the way, he ran back home. Look at him, he feels sad. He's looking at all the people and he's starting to miss his family and feel sad. He wants to go back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? Harry is so dirty that his family doesn't know it's him. They don't recognize him. When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook their heads and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Oh no, the family still doesn't recognize him. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon, he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. Hmm, what did he find? He'd found the scrubbing brush and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed with the family following close behind. Where is he taking the scrubbing brush? He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy! Daddy! Look! Look! Come quick! It's Harry! It's Harry! It's Harry! They cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became once again a white dog with black spots. He looks so happy and his family is also very happy because they found him. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. Look, there's the scrubbing brush. And Harry looks so happy that he got a bath and that he's back home with his family. The end. Wow, Harry got so dirty that they didn't recognize him. And in the end, he actually wanted a bath because he wanted to be with his family. What a wonderful book with a happy ending. What did you think of the book? That's so great to hear. Well, friends, this is it for today's class. It was so nice to have you here. And I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!